Just um, got to mix up my drinks for the big race. Got the old uh, the Morton Morton 320. See the powder, it's uh, quite, quite thick. Just whack that in there. Uh, and then, yeah, whack the rest of the water. So when you put in 500, the, the powder itself makes it probably, well, it ends up about 600 ml. So I just literally will split that between three or four bottles for the day. And I know I did get the... the so now we uh, just give it a good shake. Got the old uh, my protein bottle here, but I've got a bit of a crack, so uh there's a risk it's gonna it's gonna go everywhere but i if i hold it tightly enough it um sorts itself out uh you can see in there like the it's a bit of a kind of a gluggy kind of bit at the bottom there but once you mix that up it sort of sorts itself out um i just I'll probably have to leave leave it for like i don't know an hour or something it, it seems to absorb and go away nicely um, now I've got so this is 600 mil uh, there's 80 grams of 80 grams of carbs in it so I'm gonna look to put in 150 mil into each uh, into four bottles so that'll be 20 grams of carbs a time and I'll do eight in total, so 160 grams over roughly two and a quarter hours, which is pretty decent carb intake. We're talking like 70, 70 grams an hour. And the Morton stuff is really easy to get on with. I can just I can drink that down quite well compared to something like a gel. They, I find gel is really hard to take in. So the trick's going to be to pour this, which I may make a mess because uh, I forgot to bring my trusty little funnel uh, and these are 250ml bottles so you know that obviously I'm just going to guess a little bit but you know it's going to be somewhere in here that I just did uh, well actually my doping test was better I didn't actually spill anything so I spilled a little bit here nothing nothing major so, and unlike my doping test I'll be drinking this stuff so not that you want to know that um, at a glance they're roughly right I'll you know maybe move a bit here and there it's no big deal if they're, if they're you know 50 or 20 mil out or something it's just a, a guide it's, This that is the floor in my room. So it reminds me of Taylor Swift a little bit. Shake it off. Not quite, but you know. Got to love a bit of Tate, don't you? Eh? So I'll just leave that sit for a bit um, to absorb. Like you can. See, it's like got little floaties in it almost at the moment, um, and they'll settle. They'll settle, and uh, I'll get that. But then, yeah, I'll give it a bit to absorb. So next, next 
next up is uh, to put the put these labels on. Um, got a label for each bottle. This should uh, fit nicely. Fit nicely on the bottle, pretty well. So something like that, just nice and uh, bang, easy. Look at that. You little ripper! I've been watching Aussie Gold Hunters a bit too much. Uh, it's bloody, bloody good program. <laughs> I love it. Uh, makes me want to get out there and go go detecting really. But yeah, they love they love uh, when they find a bit of gold. It's like, look at this little ripper. It's a little ripper. This bit of gold. You beauty. Yeah. Those Antipodeans, eh? Kiwis and Aussies, they've got some good little sayings. They're slowly uh, wearing off on me. I don't say as many, as many as I used to. Sweet as is a good one, I love that one. Sweet bro, sweet bro. Five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, fifteen. So one thing that I have, I pretty much do in all my marathons, uh, not this time because we have the luxury of an individual table, um, but to help distinguish my bottle from others, I use a good old Sainsbury's bag, and what I do is I rip, rip this in half, handle in each half, so handle, and then I just imagine this is. Um, Ripped in half, you've got one handle, and then tie it round. You can tie it round much better with it, only ripped in half, and then you've got a you've got a handle, like proper handle for that bottle. So it helps to, you can come along and almost grab it like that. It's really good. And when you do grab it, you can don't have to worry about holding it. You can um, you know have it round the wrist so you're not risking dropping it. It's, it's a really, like I think I invented that idea. Uh, I'm going to claim it anyway, so I've been doing it, oh gee, like probably a good eight years now or more of my marathon, so it's been around a long time, for me anyway. And now you guys are all going to copy it, right? It's like, it's a, it's a good idea. <laughs> 